Hello and welcome. In today's video we're looking at something called metal oxides and non-metal oxides. Now these both have something to do with acids and alkalis. So the metal oxides are linked to alkalis and the non-metal oxides are linked to acids. And we're going to see exactly how in this video. Let's start with the metal oxides first. To help us understand this, I've got an example here. We've got a little strip of magnesium metal. There's a little strip of magnesium metal, a couple of centimetres long. And we can react it with oxygen, oxygen in the air. And we do that by heating it. So we can put it into a little container called a crucible, and we can heat it, usually with a Bunsen burner. And after a while, we get the production of something called magnesium oxide. So there you can see the magnesium oxide in the little crucible there. It's a white powder. And we can take the little description that we've got above and we can write it as a word equation. It's a simpler way of describing that reaction. So magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. That is our metal oxide. In this case, the example is magnesium oxide. Now, what's this got to do with alkalis? Well, we can take some water, we can take our magnesium oxide, we can add the magnesium oxide to water, and we get a reaction. And that reaction produces something called magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is produced when we put the magnesium oxide in the water. And the reason it's got something to do with alkali is because this is an alkali that we've made. If we check this with our universal indicator, we get a purple colour, which shows it's got a pH in the range of 9, 10, 11, because that purple colour is alkali. So this is the reaction of metal oxides in water to produce alkalis. So we can make a little summary of that. The summary goes like this. Metal plus oxygen gives us metal oxide. This metal oxide is alkaline. Notice the word alkaline, not alkali. It's a property of the metal oxide. It is alkaline. It is not itself an alkali. Sometimes we call metal oxides bases. That's another name for metal oxides that are alkaline. So we could put a little box around this to make sure we know and remember this idea. And a couple more examples of metal oxides include copper oxide made from copper and oxygen and aluminium oxide made from the reaction of aluminium with oxygen. So this is our metal oxides. Next, we can look at our non-metal oxides. Our non-metal oxides. So how does this work? Well, we can give an example with carbon. So we can take some carbon in the form of a black powder. We can react it with oxygen that's in the air, and we can do that again by heating. It's probably worth also remembering that carbon can burn in air as well. It can also burn in air and produce carbon dioxide. In this case, we're going to heat it. Heating is not quite the same as burning. But we get the production of carbon dioxide gas. Again, we can write the word equation. Carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. And if we take the carbon dioxide gas and bubble it through some water, so here is our water, we can take that carbon dioxide gas, bubble it through some water, and we get a chemical reaction that produces an acid. In this case, it's something called carbonic acid. So carbonic acid is formed. So this is a separate reaction to the one that's above, uh, above on the top of the screen there. Carbonic acid is actually the acid that's in fizzy drinks. And again, we can test with the universal indicator, which gives us an idea of the pH, and it goes a red color, orangey red color, and that tells us that we have an acid. So non-metal oxides can form acids. We've got a non-metal plus oxygen, we get a non-metal oxide, and we describe that non-metal oxide as acidic. In our example there, the non-metal oxide was a gas. And this forms 
acid when reacting with water. So we can put a little box around that because that's quite important. And we can look at one or two other examples. So other examples include sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide which we just did, and nitrogen oxide, each formed by word equations as shown there. And these all form acids when they react with water. So that's what they have to do with acids. That's what non-metal oxides have to do with acids. So we can summarize the whole thing. Now we've got metal plus oxygen will give us a metal oxide and that is alkaline. The metal oxide is alkaline. And we said there are a couple of examples, copper and aluminium oxide. And then we have non-metal plus oxygen gives us a non-metal oxide and the non-metal oxide is acidic. And the examples we gave there were sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. Incidentally, while we're here, these gases are sometimes formed as part of pollution, and when they react with rainwater, they make acid rain. So this is a kind of source of a source of pollution. So that's it, the reactions of metal oxides and non-metal oxides to form alkalis and acids. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.